Hi, Kim West, the Sleep Lady, and today I'm going to answer Megan's question. Here's what she wrote in. How do you get your baby to sleep to a decent time in the morning? No matter what time I put my baby now nine months down at night, whether it's 6 p.m., 6.30, 7, 7.30 p.m., he always wakes up for the day between 5 and 6 a.m., and he won't go back to sleep. He's done this from about four months of age. He has been on a very strict bedtime routine and I've blackened out his windows and nothing seems to help. Megan. Okay, couple of little points, Megan. So first of all, make sure that you've found which from that six to 7.30 you think is that sweet spot of bedtime, the time where it's easiest for him to go to sleep and potentially um, stay asleep. And then also, you know, you didn't say anything about what the naps are um, and how long they are and if they're close to the three hours that he needs, but, but that would be important because that will absolutely affect early rising, which I'll get to in a minute. The other thing is if he goes to bed at 7 p.m. or asleep at 7 p.m. and sleeps till 6 a.m., because you said, did say between 5 and 6 a.m., so 6 being on the late, lo, uh, later side, that is technically 11 hours of sleep. That might be enough for him. Um, so you might want to work on increasing the naps, making them push them a tiny bit later, so maybe he could get to a 7.30 bedtime and then sleep till 6.30. I will tell you though, that if he is naturally a morning bird that, and he's happy and refreshed at 6 a.m., I didn't say five though, um, then it may be that you'll have to address, uh, rearrange your life and your schedule to accept that and, and who he is and hope maybe he outgrows it, uh, but he might not. Um, usually one of the parents is an early bird when I see a, um, a child be an early bird too. So maybe that parent could be the one who's on morning duty. Um, so again, no guarantees that you can make him sleep till let's say seven, eight o'clock in the morning because we'd all like that. Um, but for sure, 6 a.m., uh, I really don't want you starting the day before 6 a.m. So then that leads me to the causes of early rising. So this is such a popular topic that I have a whole category on my blog. So the common ones are going to bed too late, which I don't think that's happening for him. Uh, nap deprivation, I don't know whether that applies to him. So again, you'd wanna look at that. Uh, and then too big of a wakeful window from afternoon nap to bedtime, which at his age is like four hours maximum. Okay, so if he's going to bed at seven, then he's awake by three um, p.m. And that's maximum. So if he slept a little longer and still makes and still ready for bed at seven, then, then that's okay. And then going to bed too drowsy. So I don't know what's happening there. Um, you didn't mention anything there, but that's a very subtle one. Um, you really want him awake and aware that he's being put down into his crib and really learning to master the skill of putting himself to sleep at bedtime, which is the easiest time to put yourself to sleep because one of the harder times to put yourself to sleep is that four or five o'clock in the morning, that early rising when you've had enough sleep to fight it off, um, but not enough sleep to be able to make it well rested to your next nap. Okay, Megan, I hope that helps. Thank you.